Hey guys, this is a tutorial for those of you who have access to the service planning, uh, adjusting volunteers on rosters, and so on and so forth. This isn't something that everybody has access to, so this is specific to a few people. I was chatting with Ian and Maggie from Goulburn uh, a few days ago and said I'll put this together. It will be also applicable to some of the other guys in the other churches as well. So uh, let's just see how we go at teaching you guys how to use the service plans. A service plan is uh, what once upon a time we called a run sheet. It's basically just an order that we work through. One of my other previous tutorials, I showed you the live service plan that you can follow along if you want to on your mobile device, phone, uh, piece, uh, laptop, iPad, etc. Um, but uh, you may be just happy to have a print, print yourself out a PDF version and bring it with you if you don't have a mobile version. But today I wanted to show you how to actually put a service plan together. So to do that, first thing we need to do is head into the admin tab of, <coughs> of Elvanto. And inside Elvanto, uh, we simply go to the services and uh, let's just pick a service. So uh, we're going to do, uh, we're gonna, for, this, for this one we'll do, we'll do Goulburn because I think we've already set up some templates for Goulburn and, uh, and you guys will get the gist of it, especially seeing this is useful for Ian and Maggie down there. So um, Sunday service here, we'll select the Sunday service for Goulburn for the 11th of November coming up this Sunday. And, uh, and those of you who have access to more than just the live will actually have access to all of these these tabs here, service plan, volunteers, reporting, print, and live. You should have access to most of those. Uh, most of the volunteers will just have access to live. That's the only thing they'll see. So those four extra tabs, or in fact, all those tabs there, uh, you can shortcut straight to them by pressing any of these buttons. So in this case, we'd press service plan, and it will take us straight to the service plan. Now, the first thing you'll notice is that those four tabs underneath the service also correspond exactly to uh, up here, service plan, volunteers, reporting, and so on. Well, not all of not exactly, but but uh, similar ones. So if you wanted to, we could have come in here, then gone to service plan and got the same thing. Now the first thing we'll notice is that we, when when we create a service, it's created with a template that we've already set up. That template is already in place, and so anytime a new service comes, it saves you having to type all this information in every time um, because we've set up a, a template for a, sort of a one fits all. We can move things around, adjust things, delete things, add things, and so on. But it's a lot easier to start with a template. So, uh, if you had a look at the live service, you will have seen most of this stuff or, already. But um, when you're in here, if you wanted to change a service, you'll notice the first thing is that um, it's set up with a template, mainly in, in a few different main subheadings. So we've got pre-service, we've got a subheading of praise and worship, we've got a subheading of speaking, and a subheading of post-service. Just for the sake of example, we might just have a quick look at a different service. We'll look at one that's a little bit more in depth, and we'll come we'll come back there to keep it simple. But let's have a look at uh, let's say Camden, because Camden's service plans tend to be a little bit more uh, a little bit more complicated. Um, so we have here pre-service. We have uh, a lot going on in pre-service. Then praise and worship. And then generally, sometimes we split MC up into two components and platform speaking into two components. So we've created a heading MC items one uh, that has a transition under it from the MC uh, transitioning out of worship. Then we might have various different platform speaking and uh, and then more MC work and plat more platform speaking and preaching tithes and offerings and so on. And finally, whatever happens after the service or the close of the service, then post service. Now you can edit those templates however you want. You can actually create one from scratch if you wanted to. But just for the sake of this, let's go back to the simple one. So we'll go back to Goulburn service plan over here, just so you get the gist of it without too much information. So the first thing we have there is a pre-service plan of 9 a.m. Now, uh, probably the best way to work out work our way through that is to use the template as as it is as a template and then work with it. So um, if we want to edit something that is already there, uh, you'll notice a little pen next to the X. The pen means you can edit that. So the the line here is uh, is not actually an item, it's actually a heading. And it corresponds to this button over here that says add heading. So if I want to add a heading at any point in the service, I just press that and it will add a heading. I'll show you how to do that in a minute. The items are the things actually underneath it that are attached to times. And they are add items there. You can also add songs uh, from here, or you can add a song to the existing item, and we'll probably do it that way because that'll be easier for you. All right, so um, in this case here, we have setup happening at 9 a.m. for about 45 minutes. Now, how we how we did that is if you come into edit here, and what I'm going to do is basically edit this screen 
and it's exactly the same as what will happen if you click on add item up here. If you add item up here you'll just get a blank version of this and you can change it. So we've called it the item called setup so we could call it setup um, and prepare just for the sake of, we'll call it setup and prepare just for the sake of uh, showing you how it changes. Now the duration here you set how long that will take and uh, don't worry about the seconds in fact you can ignore the seconds like that would be obviously high-tech ministry churches that are running bands and conference and, and doing albums and all that sort of stuff I imagine when they have to run their service to the second we're only talking ballpark figures for our service so roughly 45 minutes but you could change that as you need to the next thing you need to know is here you have options of before the service during the service or after the service so because it's set at 45 45 minutes before the service when we come out of this it will automatically default to the first 45 minutes prior to the service start time of 10 o'clock and we can adjust things around if we need to down in here you've got options to put notes and uh, if you need to add notes to that like uh, set up chairs you can just type in there and go set up chairs um, I'll hit enter and I'll put um, put tablecloth together put tablecloth on table I know this is normally all done, etc. But that just gives you an idea. The notes section down the bottom is really not that applicable. Um, you can uh, can apply certain notes to certain departments, so that uh, only, for instance, the hosting team can see a certain note, or only the production team could see a note saying "play a video at a certain time." I think that's a bit overkill. Uh, I understand why it's necessary, but it's just as easy to put any notes related to an item in here. And I'm quite comfortable with anybody who got access to the service seeing um, seeing a particular note. So we might put it like this: we might put uh, production team, production team. I'll get it right in a minute. Production team to play video when asked. Now, obviously, that's not going to happen during the setup and prepare, but it's just as a hypothetical example for what might happen later on. So ignore this bottom section under notes, I don't think it's necessary. Click save item and when we do you'll notice that <coughs> the item is now edited and in the service plan here you can see those bullet points of items that I have already uh, included there. Okay so then we can say some pre-service music and we set that. So what we've done is we've set that up to 15 minutes, you can see in there 15 minutes, so that was set for a duration of 15 minutes before the service. This was set for a duration of 45 minutes before the service, hence the total being one hour before the service, which pushes the service time, start time of 10 a.m., pushes everything back to 9 a.m. Hypothetically, if I wanted to switch those around and have the pre-service music before the setup and prepare, if you're using a computer, it's as simple as, the, as just getting these arrows here, holding your mouse down and clicking and dragging, and that will swap them over. So you'll now notice that it's telling me the setup and prepare happens at 9.15, the pre-service music happens at 9 a.m. So it's just adjusted everything accordingly. But I'll put that back for now. And uh, we can delete all that later on, I won't worry about that now. So that's uh, that gives you an idea of how to add services, uh, service times. Um, the, the moment you put something in, um, in as uh, during the service, it will automatically put it there. And then you can just drag and drop things around to get them in the order that you need to. Um, now let's, let's for instance, pick a song. So um, we've already got song one written in there. So if we come into song one and click on edit, um, we can add a song over here. And uh, over on the right here, it's add song. It's exactly the same as add song up here. So if we add song there, it'll open up a list of all the songs that have been loaded into the database. This still requires some work. It's being edited by the music directors to provide opportunities for all the chord, all the uh, chord charts, all, all the music, sheet music will be in there, links to YouTube videos where you can listen to the songs will be in there, a link to iTunes where you can download your own version and purchase and download your own version of the song will also be in there. So gradually we'll be building that up, but in the meantime it's sufficient if you just want to put in there. So let's assume we're going to sing uh, Cornerstone. So song one will be Cornerstone. and. Uh, it's now, you'll notice up here where it said song one, it's changed to cornerstone. I've been putting song one back in there by editing it and just doing song one dash cornerstone, just so people understand it. It's probably neither here nor there, but it just makes it obvious that it's a cornerstone. And the duration of that song needs to be set. It might be five minutes. So you set the duration of five minutes. I think it'll default to zero. Um, at the start. I think once we get the songs in there we can actually set up durations for the songs so when you 
click add song it should automatically set the duration based on whatever duration has been set for that song but if it's not or you need to edit it just do it via duration save item there and uh, that will now tell me that cornerstone is the first song that we're going to sing as you can see all right so that's basically how you do that now if you're using your ipad to do this um, you don't have the option it looks just like this but you can't actually drag these around with um, with your finger so what you need to do is scroll right to the bottom of the page and way down the bottom here uh, in all this stuff underneath on the bottom of your iPad you should see a button that says something like uh, view mobile version and if you view the mobile version it'll change the screen it has all the same information on it but it'll change the screen and down the left hand side of the page here you'll see um, up and up and down arrows and so you can't drag and drop uh, one thing from there to there like this but with each push of the arrow you can push the item up one item like this and one item down so you can do that quite easily just by uh, adjusting it yourself um, within the mobile version probably easiest to set them up on your computer before you have to change them in the service though all right so that's how to adjust a service plan of course i'm always happy to have you um, check with me have any questions you need if you want the template changed you should have access to that but if you don't let us know and we will change the template it won't actually uh, be applied until the next lot of round of services that we put in so for instance at the moment we have services set right through to the end of January 2013 so any changes to the template won't make changes until February services go in but you can still uh, manually change them if you need to alright so that's how to edit services um, that should be pretty straightforward